Okay, let's take a peek in here. Here's a sink. Come on, wrench. <laughs> yeah, baby! Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue the hunt for iron ingots. We have the entire afternoon at our disposal to do that. Um, it has only been just a couple of moments since I left you in the last episode, but it's been several days since I've recorded in real life. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and whoa, fall down and hopefully not break our leg. Uh, on the search for ingots, we need, I believe we need like seven ingots to make the water filter, and we need 15 ingots to make the casting plate. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we need to do. And once we get those two things done, we have, you know, we have our forge, we have water. We've, we've pretty much taken care of our food situation because we discovered fishing in the last episode, which is really good. Um, and uh, let's see, do I have, well, I guess... Uh, yeah, our food's pretty much almost all the way topped off. Uh, at some point during the day, I'm going to have to dig up some more worms and do some more fishing because I can't do that at night. Or um, one, one suggestion, though, that you guys gave me in the comments, which is actually a really good suggestion, was to build um, like maybe a little mini base or an outpost right next to the water so that I can actually fish during the night. And I think that's a really good idea. So that's something to look at. But I, we need to really get the forge and the water situation going first. Um, so uh, that that's really still our highest priority uh, right at the moment. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and give you a pitchfork sandwich because I mean, who wouldn't want a pitchfork sandwich? You look like the kind of guy that would absolutely just love to have a pitchfork sandwich. How about you? All right, let's get to. I I I need to remember not to try and stack bleeds because they don't stack. What's in here? Uh, a schematic to learn a pick, which we already know. Okay, let's give him his second bleed application, and that should kill him. Just stay away from him. Mind our stamina and all that. You want to die now, please? You can drop. Anytime you can drop. Please drop. He dropped. Okay, cool. All right, so yeah. Um... What do you guys suggest in the comments to try and find a working stiff's tools for a wrench, which is a fantastic idea, except for I don't think there is one in this town. I'm pretty sure I've been all around this town. Um, I wonder if the pawn shop might have a wrench in here, because, I mean, there's just a variety of all kinds of crap in here. And you can occasionally find wrenches in cars, too. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, in vanilla you, you can. That's the thing. I can't assume that that uh, Ravenhurst is going to be exactly the same as vanilla because it is definitely not exactly the same as vanilla. Uh, so we could maybe go into Vic Garrison's. What do we have going on over here? Is that a different kind of cheerleader or is the lighting just weird? No, I guess that's the same cheerleader. I don't know. She kind of looked different uh, for a minute there for some reason. Um, all right. So let, what is this place? It looks like a house of some sort. Okay. So if we could actually finish the motel, which I started a couple episodes ago, um, you know, there's a lot of sinks in there. And we could perhaps find a wrench. Um, we just need to... The last time I tried to get in there, though, we had so many zombies around that I couldn't really effectively do it. Um, unless I just, you know, take the time to kill them, which we might just end up having to do if we if we want to actually get in there. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's just have a zombo kill session here.
Hey, look at that. We got four iron ingots. All right, we just need three more for the water uh, water filtration. Hot damn. All right, well, that's one way to get some iron ingots. Okay, so uh, we've cleared pretty much most of the wandering zombies. Um, we're going to have sleepers to deal with, too. Let me actually just look around the other side of the house, too. Um, okay, we got that guy, but that I think that guy was a sleeper. Uh, I don't see anybody else in the immediate vicinity, so let's uh, dispatch the biker here. All right, he did. So we've been in here. Yeah, we've already, oh, I guess we didn't check this cabinet. Nice, two things of food. Oh shit, that scared me. I didn't know they were outside. <laughs> All right, time to deal with these ones. Okay, let's take a peek in here. Here's a sink. Come on, wrench. <laughs> yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about. How long, ladies and gentlemen, have we been waiting for this? Oh, my goodness. All right, it doesn't have much durability, so uh, I, need to f I need to remember where I found the, uh, the workbenches. Uh, I think we've come across a couple of them. Uh, because, you know, this wrench is not going to last very long. So I don't want to be like wrenching cars or stuff with it and then wear it out and not be able to repair it. Um, let's see. Where did we find this? I think... Oh, I have to think about where it was. Oh, uh, there's one at the there's one at the trader. And, you know, the trader's not protected, so we should be able to take that one apart. But there was another one we found somewhere, too. I just have to remember where it is. So give me a, give me a second to look around. I'll bring you guys back as soon as I find that other workbench. There might be one or two in the garage of some of these houses, too. All right, I think uh, we found the workbench in this POI over here. So let's deal with Ronnie McDonnie. I remember kind of looking through the wall and seeing it in there or something, but I think at the time we weren't able to get it because we were being overrun. He did. All right, so were we like in here somewhere? I just don't remember, but I know we found a workbench in one of these places. It might not have been this place. So let's take a peek in here. Uh, it might not have been this building. We know for sure we can get one from the trader, but we need a total of 22 iron to get both the water filtration unit and the forge going. Um, so yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here. That just goes out to the outside. Got another Zeekaroo there. Oh shit. There's a bunch of Zeeks in here. Okay, let's run back out. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's angry. I don't think there's a workbench in the coal mine that I can think of. But you would think in the lumber place there would be one. So, all right, let's get rid of these yahoos. My stamina is not coming back very quickly because I'm thirsty. I have to be really careful with that. Using the blunderbuss a little bit. He did. Okay, let's just knife this guy with another bleed and he should fall. And then 
I want to keep looking in that lumber yard because, man, I, I could have sworn that was the place, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, maybe did we go upstairs? All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, let me get the axe. Saw horse in there. Come on, stamina. Okay. All right, let's go up on the roof here, real quick. Oh, there's no buzzards up here. I'm not seeing anything here. Whoops. I still didn't get you? Come here. Get a direct shot off on him. <clears throat> All right. That didn't go so smoothly. Let's reload everything. There's nothing really in here either. I don't necessarily want to jump down there. Oh, you know what? There is a there's a medical thing here. Medical pile. All right, we will take that stuff. Got the vitamin. Okay, well, I don't think I'm not gonna bother harvesting. Oh shit! Ugh, that could have gone bad for us, uh, but it didn't. Um, let's go back in here for a second. This is something we can loot. It's got nails. And what about this one? And there's also a medical thing up on top there too. Motor tool parts. Do, do motor tool parts scrap down into iron ingots? I don't know. That's an interesting concept, isn't it? Okay, well, here, let's just go back to the trader because we know for sure that there's a workbench there. And then I'm going to have to just, I, I wonder if it was that place over there, actually. Well, this is sort of kind of on the way to the trader, so let's go check this place, too. Um, and since we're going right by the house, might as well drop off a couple things since we're, well, I guess the house is over there. Yeah, you know, I bet you it's this place that I saw the workbench in. Let's just get a little bit of stamina back. I don't really have anything to heal myself with, do I? Well, I got those, but that's going to make our hydration even worse than it is. Let's go ahead and eat, because um, that will get us a little health back and a little food back. Yeah, maybe it was this place that I saw the workbench. through. It was like through the window or something. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. That's our little hole we dug for worms. So let's put, I keep hitting the I key. That's for playing Conan. Playing Conan. Uh, let's put, actually, I want to see what happens. Oh, we can't scrap those. Never mind. Never mind. It's not going to happen. Okay, let's get some iron ingots. Um, I don't know if this will make any difference or not, but let's also put the luckies on. Probably won't, but you never know. Uh, look at those iron ingots coming in, ladies and gentlemen. hurry before the monsters come okay cool how many did we get in total 16 very good okay that's enough to make the forge um or the water filtration unit and i think the water filtration unit is probably going to be a, a little bit more important of the two at this moment in time particularly since we're having a really hard time with hydration um so let's get back up onto the roof and 
see if we can get that water filtration thing made and then we will have finally solved our hydration issues that have plagued us pretty much since we started playing this game <laughs> uh, or this mod i should say oh man that was so nice finding the wrench but look at the rent look at the durability on the wrench see how much it came down just from that one uh you know one salvage on the workbench i hope we can use it to get the rest of the iron that we need from the other workbench at the trader station okay so um let's grab everything out of here except well here i don't remember exactly what we need i know we don't need that or the bellows okay so water filtration uh right here so oh yeah it's the burning barrel that we needed to make right okay uh the other thing too i don't know if this will matter either but let's not take any chances um we want to go back to here and make this the active quest uh, so we get credit for it right uh all right so to make the barrel we need yeah we need the seven uh, iron there looks like we got the coal in the wood so let's make the barrel first um and then hopefully i got everything else to make the water filtration unit boy oh boy has this been a long time coming oh look at that we got a bench vice that's cool all right we'll I have to stay in the inventory or in the in the crafting bench to get the credit for this so um let's just wait until it's done okay we have made the burning barrel and we have gathered the burning barrel. All right, gather a cooking pot. We have gathered a cooking pot, gather a bunch of wood. Um, where is my wood? Here we go. Gather water filtration unit. Oh, man, this has been a long time coming, my friends. A long time coming. Two minutes, son of a bitch. Okay, I'll see you in two minutes. All right, there it is. We've gathered the water filtration unit. And now we must set it down. How big is this thing? How about if we just put it right here? Craft boiled water can craft boiled water can so we need a can of infected water and coal bottle of infected water to make murky water okay um let's grab some cans i don't know oh How did that just magically appeared in our inventory? <laughs> okay. Um, so we just need to do this. And it wants us to make two, and it gave us enough stuff to make two. Look at that. All right. And once again, I get to stay in the crafting menu until this completes. Yay me. Okay, so we crafted two things of murky water. Craft boiled water can. Um, so do we just do that in here, I guess? Ah, yeah, okay. That won't take too long. Okay, let's drink up. It's a little bit warm still. Oh, did I drink both of those? No, it didn't stack. Okay, nice. That finally um, removed our cap penalty from our stamina. Um, okay, so now it wants us to do gas, but let's not worry about that right now because I have in here a bunch of infected bottled water. Wait, what? Didn't I just drink these? Oh, is this like a multiple use kind of thing? Wait a minute. Oh, 
okay, it, so it looks like we get two drinks per can. Unless something's bugged out. I don't know, that's weird. But, I mean, I'm not complaining about that. Cool. Um, all right, now what we want to do is... Uh, we want to change this into murky water. And we're going to need a bunch of coal for that. Um, and I don't think I have a bunch of coal. So let's just go here. Let's turn that off. Let's go back over here. And so we need one coal per thingamadoodle. But what we can do is make five. That turns into murky, and then we can turn the murky into boiled. The thing about this, though... Oh, yeah, so we got dysentery. I was just going to say, the thing about this is we still could get dysentery. So, um, can I make the teas? I should be able to make the teas in here. Let's take a look. Uh, here, let's just do it this way. Tea. Goldenrod tea. Yeah, I've got the I've got this unlocked, and looks like I got the red tea recipe unlocked, too. Oh, wait a minute, though. It's not giving me the option to make it in here. So there must be some other requirement for that. Like, maybe we need a coffee maker or something. I don't know. Berry tea, iced mixed tea. What does this say? Description? Yeah, we need a coffee maker. Uh, I think one of you guys told me in one of the comments that I can pick up a coffee maker. Um, you know, just by taking it apart. I don't know if we need the wrench or not, but we'll have to look at that. All right, well, anyway, it's getting dark. Let's, let me just drop a few things off here really quick. Um, this was, yeah, this is our stuff that we're saving for questing. So let's put that, that. We have nine things, so we need, we need to find six more iron to finish that out. Put the pipes back in there. And then the rest of this stuff, I'm just going to randomly drop in here, let's actually keep that with us. And I'll, you know, I'll, as usual, sort all this stuff out overnight. Which is fastly approaching. Fastly, is that even a word? What do we get when we scrap this? Do we get the blueprint thingamadoodles? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, good. Uh, I don't think we need to carry that with us. Let's put these back on. Um... Yeah, that's good enough. All right, let's just quickly go over to the trader and, and take apart uh, the workbench that the trader has. And hopefully, you know, we'll luck out and get six more pieces of iron in the process. And then we can make our forge. And that's going to make a huge difference in our survivability in this crazy, crazy mod. Okay, close that. Put, the, uh, put this down here. And let's take this sucker apart. Oh, no. I forgot, you guys. I took it apart with a pick. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, um... Is this reset? Nope, it still has the same shit in it that it had before. I forgot about that. Doggone it. I don't think we would get iron... Wait, where's the... Do we get iron for taking this apart? Yes, we do. Yeah, I forgot I had taken that workbench apart with my pick because um, I was trying to see if it would actually give us iron ingots, which, of course, it did not. Okay, we've got enough. Hallelujah. We have got enough, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's head back to the base and um, and make our, our, well, what we're specifically making is the forging plate uh, with this iron. Ooh, I think this is going to be a major step in the right direction for us, you know, getting the water under control and getting the forge going. It's going to make a huge difference. Uh, at least let's hope so. Um, okay, so... I hope, too, that this mod allows us to repair uh, the wrench with iron and not steel. Um, I think in the vanilla game you have to have steel for it. 
Okay, so let's once again grab all of this stuff and switch back to uh, Prep the Forge quest to make that the active one. And we just need to make the forging plate. Let's forging plate. Okay, what are we missing? Uh, plant fibers. We just need plant fibers. There we go. That only takes 10 seconds. It's a beautiful thing. There we go. We've gathered the forge plate. Now we need to gather the forge itself. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, we, <laughs> we just barely have enough play to make that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's craft this. <clears throat> it's going to take one minute. And there is the forge. That also has been a long time coming. All right, where are we going to put this guy? Let's stick the forge right over here. Because why not? All right, now we have to create a mold. It's got extra metals and stuff in here, which is really cool. Bunsen burner? Imitite. Scrap copper and stuff. Cool. All right. Um. So can I put here? Let's go back over here and oh my goodness, turn that off. I keep forgetting uh, in Conan Exiles the crap. Excuse me. The crap systems turn off after it's done making stuff, but in seven days it does not. Uh, all right. So let's make some more boiled water. If we just have to walk around with the shits all the time, we have to walk around with the shits all the time. It's better than uh, dying of, of thirst. Um. So let's get that going. Um, now, I want to put some wood in here. So let's take half of our wood, put it in there, and then we should be able to start smelting iron. Right? Is it working? Yes, it is. And I think I have I have more forge stuff in here, too. Yeah. So let's actually grab all of that. And uh, we lucked out at some point and found the, the anvil, so that's going to help us craft things faster. Um, and I guess the... What is this? That's a crucible. I don't know what that thing is. Um, here, let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. We got we have a pretty decent supply of iron here. Uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember. I can't remember. I was saying something, but anyway... Um, oh, I was going to say, I, I guess the bellows is built into the forge because we needed it to actually make the forge, um, a, a, as opposed to, you know, just a tool that you put in afterwards like you would in vanilla. Uh, but anyway, we got lots of iron here uh, that we can get smelted down, which is, which is beautiful. And, um, we'll just get that going. Uh, so it looks like to make the mold, I'm going to need, oh, I'm going to need boiled water. So yeah, we have to make sure. We don't do away with that. We're going to have to go get some clay soil, which um, can also, uh, and I can also get some worms in the process, and then create a blank, an empty blank mold. Are there different types of molds? Let's take a look. Uh, we had to do molds and, um, oh, that's what that slot's for. Okay, yeah, so there are different types of molds that we have to make. So, so we make the, all oh, right, okay, so we make the empty mold, and then we need the item that we want to mold, which makes perfect sense. That's kind of like uh, old school seven days that I, uh, except for we have to do it for, for guns and stuff, like gun parts. I love that, though. That's really cool. Okay, so we have to remember, you know, uh, when we come across these sorts of things that we keep uh, at least one of them to make the mold for it so we can start crafting it. But it makes perfect sense because that's how it kind of work in real life too, you know, having a mold to make these things. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, guys, I think, um, you know, it is damn near nighttime. Uh, and there's just not enough time to go out and do anything else. Did I accidentally turn the bound thing on here? Yeah, I must have. Um, so... I mean, I could, I could run down and try and dig up some more dirt and clay to make a mold. But the problem is there's zombies around, and as soon as nighttime comes, they are going to 
attack. Yeah, I'd spend all of my time trying to get rid of them, and there wouldn't be enough time left to do anything. So I think what I'm going to do is just hunker down here for the night, get the inventory sorted out, and, and then um, in the morning, when morning comes, I'm going to go dig up some dirt to get some worms for fishing and also some clay to start making some molds. And then at some point tomorrow uh, during the day, but it won't be first thing in the morning, We'll start the next episode and then see what our next move is. But hey, this was a really good episode, guys. We got um, we got our, our water filtration unit, we got our forge, and we got dysentery. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> uh, but hey, at least we're not uh, at least we're not dying of thirst now. That's that, that's the important thing. And you know, dysentery be damned. If that's what we're gonna get, that's what we're gonna get. But at least we're not gonna die of thirst, right? Um, so let's grab the rest of this water. We need to save a couple of those uh, two for... Oh, you know what else I need is coal. I need to really go find some coal. Um, which we could probably just get from the coal mine now that I think about it. Because uh, there's a coal mine uh, somewhere over in here. And yeah, we can just pull the coal right out of the bin that's outside. So I'll, I'll work on getting that done too before I bring you guys back. Um, so that I can have a bunch of water cooking up. And hopefully some things making in the forge, you know, with the molds before we start the next episode. Okay, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.